everybody thanks for clicking on this video welcome to the beginning of my savings budgeting and youtube journey i am here to represent the hard-working low-income single parents on this channel i will be experimenting with different budgeting styles savings goals and sharing the strategies i learn as i go i plan to document my progress here and hopefully encourage a few of you along the way so if any of this sounds interesting at all to you please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to continue following my journey so I wanted to come in today to just see how much I have saved along the way. I believe my first cash stuffing, which was literally in like a coupon accordion type of binder, um, that was April 28th to my recollection. I looked on my YouTube channel to see when that was and I believe April 28th is when I first started cash stuffing. So I just wanted to see how much I have saved along the way. I wanted to see how much um, from then to now I have accumulated in all of my binders together. So I wanted to take a look and start that today. So I'm going to add that all up for you. Okay, so first I wrote down all of the envelopes that I have as of now. I do plan on splitting up a few of these and maybe adding a couple. All right, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to start with my home binder. Let's see how much is in there. All right, let's do this. Make this nice and easy. Okay, housing and water. And I don't really need to open these. Um, you guys have seen me stuff these. I'm just gonna go ahead with what I have written down because I know that that is accurate. So $20 in home and water. These I will eventually, I'll be splitting these. I want them in different separate envelopes. Um, pet care right now, there's 15. Car maintenance has 60. Birthday has 20. Personal has 10. And Christmas has 30. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna put these back in order later. This is just something quick I wanted to calculate for myself and for you guys, give you some motivation, let you see, even on low income, even as a single parent, even if those things don't apply to you, if you have trouble saving, this is helping so much. Okay, and only just a short amount of time. Uh, 115 is in summer activities. Back to school has 100. Birthday has 100. It's hard to see, but 100. And gifts has 25. Um, this binder is just for my daughter. So this is all her priority, things that I have to do for her. And lastly is my savings challenge binder, which I just started. Um, you'll see in my little flip-flop challenge, there's $65 in there. And then in this $1 challenge, there's literally only $1. But we're getting there. So I wanna calculate these and see first by category how much I have in each. So there's one fifty five here. Three forty. So her binder has much more than the others. And this is self-explanatory sixty six. And the grand total, let's see, $561 from April 28th, let's see, April 28th, May 28th. So not even two months, I've saved $561. Things that I spend weekly, like um, those funds are variable funds, gas, groceries, um, miscellaneous things that we need throughout the bi-weekly pay period. So this is just savings. Mind you, these are all in separate categories, so the plan is to put them towards different things. But the great thing is that Later on, when I need these things, I'm not scrambling to find funds. They're here, I can take them out, I can use them, I don't have to stress about it. So especially the car maintenance one. Um, eventually, I will need new tires. I've been told by the mechanic that I, I can wait until about um, winter time. So hopefully there's enough in there by then that I'm not stressing or borrowing from my main savings account to pay for these things because that savings account is for 
larger things um let's say a pipe burst or which has happened to me that happened to me this past winter we had a freezing weather and the pipe burst went down and it was flooding so these things do come up i want to just be prepared for things that come up and even the small things that come up when you're low income they can throw you off of your goals so it's great to have these backup plans especially things like back to school birthdays things that happen every single year that somehow i'm not ready for or i have to scramble to do overtime for um christmas i'm sure most people not all depending on if you celebrate it that's a big one, but everyone has different priorities. The great thing about sinking funds is that even a little bit of money, some of these things I only put $5 in at a time, but it adds up over the weeks, over the months. And imagine after a year of doing this, how much money I will have saved. So I am very happy about this. I hope you guys take some motivation from this. I hope you start doing it. I am going to upload a video about maybe five to ten things that i've learned as a beginner as you guys know i did just start sinking funds and cash stuffing i've always been a credit debit card type of girl it's always been easier for me and safer for me but to see just in this amount of time how much i've saved and how much better it's allowing me to continue to save i didn't even think this would be possible for me i didn't think that I see other people cash stuffing and I'm so glad that I, I just decided to go ahead and try it for myself. And some of them have so much money to stuff and I'm like, oh my God, this is, there's no point in even me even trying it. But it does help. Even a little bit helps because even if you have $10 left from one period to the next and you save that, you keep doing that, it all adds up. It all adds up, even the little amounts that we save. So get started. Don't wait. Take some money out of the bank. Make sure you just sit down, look at your budget, save what you need for your emergencies first. That's my biggest tip. Make sure that before you even see or touch your paycheck, have a set amount that automatically goes to a savings account. So you don't budget with that. You don't touch that. You just leave that. There will be an emergency at some point. We all have life insurance. We all have health insurance. You need insurance for things, surprises that come up. It's bound to happen. So I would say that's the biggest tip off the top. Make sure that you have a savings account. Pay yourself first. Pay yourself first. And you pay the bills with whatever is left. After the bills are paid, then you can do sinking funds. It doesn't matter how little you put in them, $2, $3, whatever, It'll add up over time and eventually, even if you can't pay off a whole sinking fund, let's say you get to um, something that your pet needs or a water bill and you only have $20 saved, that's $20 less that you have to worry about. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the encouragement that you guys have given me. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the congratulations. Um, I hope that you guys start your journey, continue your journey. Keep me updated on your journey because I like to know how you guys are doing. Um, also, again, always for those of you who have done this longer than me or if you have different ways of doing it than I do, Leave me your suggestions. I'm always willing to learn more. I am still new at this. So if there are things that I haven't learned yet or haven't tried yet, I'm always willing to try it. Um, we'll see. I don't want to go envelope crazy. I have a feeling that it's going to get there. Um, I don't want to go binder crazy. I want to focus on the things that matter the most to me right now. Eventually, once I get the hang of this, um, I will be trying other things. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, again, thanks so much for spending time with me today. I really, really appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you'd like to continue on this journey with me. Please share your own progress. Um, ask any questions, submit, leave me any tips. I want you to remember that it is about progress and not about perfection. Thanks again. Happy savings, everybody. Bye.